Welcome back. Things are starting to heat up here at the CE Center. Joining me now, the 2012 United Way Community Campaign co-chairs. We've got the lovely Angie Poirier and City Councilor Matt Soufleuré. How are you both doing? Really good. Excited. Mm -hmm. It's a great day. Yeah, really excited. There's lots of tables in there that are filling up. So for us, it's a... Uh, well, I was here last year, but seeing people coming in, it's exciting. I was here doing what you're doing. <laughs> I know, I, yeah, we were talking about how it would be an interesting switch. Yeah, and and now I'm serving eggs. <laughs> so that's sure, what I'm doing. <laughs> so you will be two of the celebrity servers this morning, lined up at the buffet. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we they, they put us right to work in all aspects of the campaign. They yeah. told us be here at 6:45. You're starting. You're cooking and yeah. serving coffee. Okay. Yes. So uh, we're expecting a lot of people here this morning. For people who aren't familiar with the community campaign, Angie, do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Well, this is launch day. This is uh, it pretty much, you know it's fall when this day happens for the United Way. People rally around, communities come through. There's going to be over a thousand people here this morning. Uh, different businesses, community leaders, uh, celebrity servers, uh, and everyone comes together to launch this goal, but to also remind ourselves why we do this every year and where our money goes. The United Way uh, reaches so many different areas in our community, and you see that by all the different faces that are here. How many different different people from our community come out to support it. And uh, Matthew, you mentioned that you were here for the breakfast last year, but what's it like to be one of the co-chairs this year? Well, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I don't know about Angie, but... So nervous. <laughs> <laughs> for us, you know, stepping into uh, Max Keeping's role, but also, you know, continuing the great work of United Way is, uh, it's, it's good pressure for us. I think we believe in this community. We're born here, and we want to be part of the change. United Way's done it so far, and we want to continue that momentum. And the fact that the two of you are born and raised, grew up in Ottawa, does that kind of make the United Way campaign hit close to home for you? It, 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 this is home, right? So, I mean, uh, and Matt, you know, it, it, this is all part of what he does every day, goes out into these neighborhoods. I mean, with Rito Vanier and all the work that he does there, he's able to see a lot of the organizations that benefit from the United Way, and now he's on the other side of helping actually fundraise for those organizations as well. Yeah, the, the role is different, but Angie and I are going into the community, meeting people, meeting, you know, some people have, uh, you know, like one of the target area is growing up great. So we're going to meet the kids and see what programs are making a change, really. And, you know, for us, it's about those critical hours after school, what goes on, can we keep our kids active, learning. Uh, and not only are we living the experience, you know, Angie is a mom, mm -hmm. but uh, for us going out and seeing those agencies through Boys and Girls Clubs and uh, other groups out there. I actually grew, I grew up going to the Boys and Girls Club, my sister and I, and we credit that for keeping us out of trouble when a lot of different kids in our area were getting into trouble. So uh, I'm a product of that as well. We all are, right? Like, I went to Patro when I was a kid, and, you know, that mentorship, that role of keeping active, staying out of trouble makes a big difference. Angie, can you tell me a little bit about Focus Area Champions and exactly what they are and why you wanted to introduce them this year? Well, so yeah, so this is a, a brand new addition this year. So there, our focus areas are growing up great, so a focus on kids, belonging to community, so giving everyone a chance to work and be a part of the community that they live with and, and turning lives around. So people who maybe lost their way, you know, to get now back on track and find employment and find uh, shelter and that type of thing. So those are the three focus areas that impact our community the most and where the money is targeted. So the focus area champions are eight people that are well known and well connected in the community that go out and champion these causes and we're introducing them this morning and they're a huge part of this campaign because they actually go out and speak to the donors and show them where that money is going which is a huge part of what United Way does shows you where the, where the money goes. Oh, exactly. Thank you both very much for chatting with me this morning. I know you have a lot to do in terms of serving and jumping yeah. up on stage, so Bacon. good luck. I'll you take have, the egg. <laughs> coffee, you coffee have a, a busy <laughs> year ahead, so so go ahead and, and get at it. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be here live all morning at the CE Center at the United Way Breakfast.